Massa. Hey, Massa. You's got you some good one, Massa. <laughs> so fabulous <laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel once again it's your girl to maybe dear if this is your first time coming across my channel you're welcome i do hope you decide to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber you guys know that i love you it's so good to have you here welcome back before we get into this video please this video is strictly for educational purposes please do not go searching out the people that i talk about in this video do not send them any form of hate hate comment threat violence please this channel does not support any of that so in today's video we're going to be discussing this clip that was made by a very young black woman really young talking about why she wouldn't submit to any black man let me roll her clip Every day I get online, me and I always complain about black women, at least black men. Black women this, black women that. Our name just always in your mouth. Black women are submissive towards black men, how white women are submissive to white men. Well, because the white man is the slave master. The rest of the people are the slaves. Why would I submit to a slave? I don't submit to no slave. I submit to my slave master, which is the white man. But I would never submit to no slave, which is the black man. You supposed to submit just like me. Why would I be submissive towards you when you got somebody you need to be submissive towards too? So, um, first of all, you guys can see that she's really young. I don't know how young she is, but she's really young. I think because of that, I'm not really that offended by what she said. I don't know if I'm the only one who sees it this way, but because of how young she is, I feel like maybe she doesn't know better or she's just repeating something that she has heard someone say before. I don't know. But anyway, before I go right into what I think, let me play some of the responses to that video. So I want to just share my quick thoughts about this ridiculous video that I just saw. So, number one, despite what you hear on social media, most men are not looking for a woman to be quote unquote submissive. Most men just want love, appreciation and respect. That's what we want. We're not looking for a servant. We're looking for a partner. So that's the first thing. The second thing is this. We're not in bondage today. We have freedom today. I mean, despite the continuing issues of racism in America, we have freedom today. We are not somebody's quote unquote slaves. No one is our quote unquote master. We are free people in the land. And it's time for us to start looking at ourselves as free and stop having this victim mentality and sense of helplessness and hopelessness and all that kind of stuff. And that's kind of what this woman is kind of promoting in her video. The other thing is this, man. To me, it is literally insane for a black woman to have more appreciation for the white man than she has for her own black man. And the reason why I say that is this. I mean, when you look at the history, the fact that that white man enslaved black people for hundreds of years, destroyed our families, uh, beat us, raped us, uh, brutalized us, you know, um, lynched us, committed all kinds of horrors against us. And even after slavery, that same white man deprived us of basic human and civil rights for decades. And even to this day, we still have issues, the issue of mass incarceration, you know, police brutality. Every other day you're hearing about another black man killing all these police. But yet and still, you have a woman like this that has more respect for the man that is responsible for the oppression of her own people than she has for her own black man. And that speaks to Stockholm Syndrome. That speaks to self-hatred that some of our women have. And to remix or paraphrase what Public Enemy said years ago, every sister is not a sister. You know, some of these women are our enemies. And this is a prime example of that. Submissive to white men. Well, because the white man is the slave master. You do know that the internet is forever. I know you've already made your obligatory post saying that you don't care what any of us say. And that's obvious because you would put something like this on the internet for everyone to see forever. Even if you delete it, people will still see it because people have saved it and people have copied it and people have posted it other places. How do you think I saw it? I didn't natively see it on this app. I saw it on a completely different app and had to come here to see 
if I was completely wrong. I get your gripe against the submission thing, and that's a whole different conversation that we could have another day, but to bring the submission discussion into blatant advocacy for race and human trafficking, that's all slavery was. It was state-sponsored, nation-sponsored human trafficking. I truly need you to rethink this, and while you're at it, go pick up a history book. Mm -mm. What? Are we serious here? I'm going to try to break this down real quick because I got to go to work in the morning. Even when there were slaves, okay? Even when there were slaves back then, the women, black women, did submit to their men because their men were their protectors. There were still families that happened within slavery. You do realize that, right? Women were still submissive during those times. But you, Miss Kanye West, Miss Tila Tequila, Miss Trump, Miss Ruckus, so you believe that black men should submit to white men and that you shouldn't have to submit yourself to anybody but the white man. If we're going to use your logic, then let's go ahead and use it the right way, okay? Your logic dictates that during that time, women had less rights than men, so that means you still would have to submit to the black man as well as the white man. It would mean that your knowledge is not as much as that black man's, or slave as you put it. What's sad is most of the black men you are referring to are not slaves. You are because your mind frame. They say ignorance is bliss, but damn, I don't know about this one. I don't think she fully thought this one through because if you think about the slave families and how it was ran back then, uh, that means she would be okay with being raped and pillaged during that time because that's once again that is what came with that so while she's saying master this master that she does realize she's putting herself up for and whatever comes with that and then you have to sit here and think about it she's willing to be ignorant never advance used as a punching bag to a, a, a man who's supposed to be her master She's willing to be dominated in all sorts of physical ways, but won't be submissive to a black man. Never submit to no slave, which is the black man. You supposed to submit just like me. What kind of buffoonery am I listening to? Hear me out before we send her packing with Candace Owens and Stacey Dash. The role of the black woman in slavery was property. They used you to reproduce so they can have more slaves. But yet you say to be submissive to your master, which is the white man, but you won't be submissive to your own dad, your own brother, your own king. The idea of slavery was to dominate us completely. I don't want to go into all the facts because it's too difficult and it'll take too long to elaborate here. Your rhetoric was to take us back to the lynch and the firing squad that America's trying to pass now. Get out of here with that. Black women are submissive towards black men. I tell you what, why don't you uh submit to a comb and some lotion? I don't submit to no slave. I submit to my slave. Man. Who goofy ass child is this? Someone please tell me who goofy ass child is this because you're making your mama and daddy look real bad goofy. Slave. I submit to my slave master, which is the white man, but I would never submit. You done lost your damn mind. Yeah. You some type of special crazy. So you'll submit to the slave white man, but you won't submit to the black man. That don't even... Yeah, something wrong with you. You, you understand me? It, it just don't make no goddamn sense. Just like me. Why would I be submissive towards you when you got somebody you need to be submissive towards too? Maybe it's my habitual impulse to give people the benefit of the doubt. Uh, that made me not take her seriously Could, and it led me to go to the comments to see exactly what was going on and then I seen it was satire but I also seen in those comments that there was several men who was like I'm gonna sit this one out you can't be serious now nah, nine times out of ten most of the people that are having these conversations about women not being submissive y'all always describe a slave I swear to god y'all do I don't know what's up with y'all but secondly I seen a lot of women in there, they defending, you know what I'm saying, the point, they they are outraged at the way that she was talking, but a lot of times, 
Y'all feel like that's what people want from y'all when they say submission is a slave. Most of the times when those conversations are had, both parties are ignorant because all they're talking about is cooperation, but who the fuck am I to judge? You know what I'm saying? I'm just a nobody on TikTok that everybody knows. Have a beautiful day. I don't submit to no slave. I submit to my slave master, which is the white. <laughs> That has got to be some of the dumbest shit I have ever heard in my life. Like, you people would say anything on this app to go viral. I don't know what it is about social media attention, but we got to do better, man. It should, it should not have to come to you making a fool out your damn self just to go fucking viral, dog. I submit to my slave master, which is the white man, but I would never submit to no slave. Baby, that ain't it. Mm -hmm. See, that's the mentality that they want us to have, okay? Somebody get consciously on the line. Somebody got to teach this baby that education is elevation. Baby, we got to do better with the mentality that we have. Because mm. mm. that wasn't it. That ain't it. I submit to my slave master, which is the white man, but I would never submit to no... I think people are getting paid to troll us on TikTok. This cannot be real. A lot of people definitely don't agree with what she said and I'm kind of disrespected by it and I can understand where they are coming from. Um, first of all, when I watched that video, to be sincere, I was like, what era does this girl think we are in? Definitely the whole slavery thing does not exist anymore. Why are you still making reference to submitting to, in quote, the slave master? Because if you're still thinking like that, it means you probably still see yourself as a slave. And last time I checked, a lot of black people in America do not want to be associated with that word anymore because guess what? Our uh, people are free now, right? Black people are free. So I was like, why is she still making reference to that and using that as a code to live her life? Because that's what it means. If she feels like she should only submit to a white man because he's the slave master. That means you're still thinking like you're in those dark ages. As far as I'm concerned, it was a dark age and time when pe black people were slaves, right? So I definitely don't agree with what she said. I think it didn't make sense for her to be making reference to slavery and slave master and all of that. Then when it comes to the issue of submission between a man and a woman, there's a school of thought that would say, they don't really care about submission they just believe that there should be a kind of partnership between a man and a woman in a relationship or in a marriage and there's another school of thought that believe submission is a thing that a woman can give to a man that she feels is worthy of it it's not every man that is worthy of being submitted to if he has not proven himself to be a good leader why should you submit to him right if he has not proved himself to be the right person that is worthy of that amount of responsibility and respect so whichever school of thought you belong to the one that believe in partnership or the one that believe in submitting when the right man comes along the important thing is yes the two need to work together two cannot work together unless they agree right it should not be about the race of the man it should be about how well you guys work together and if you've made that decision to be committed to each other so that lady and she's really young so i think she has a lot to learn but i actually went and i found out that her page has actually been banned on tiktok and i think people must have really gotten riled up by what she said and probably reported her enough to get her tiktok page banned i do not know if it was because of that video in particular but it is possible although she came out to say that the video was satire but the thing is are you saying it's satire just because now you got a lot of outrage from the video so you're just saying it to cover up or was it really satire whatever it is the opinion that she expressed is definitely something that is questionable i don't think it was right for her to come out and say but she's really young hopefully she's gonna learn and grow and not take that thinking into the future and i really hope that they are not people that think like that that same way that young lady thinks so you guys let me know what you think in the comment section Please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on notifications that way youtube will let you guys know whenever i have a new video up and i will see you guys in my next video bye